What if I told you that one of Caterpillar's most ambitious creations, designed to dominate American highways, disappeared almost as fast as it arrived? The Caterpillar CT-660 was bold, rugged, and built for battle. So why haven't you seen one on the road lately? Was it a failure? A hidden success? Or something Caterpillar doesn't want you to remember? Stick around, because what happened to the CT-660 is more than just a truck story. It's a tale of innovation, risk, and a market that didn't see it coming. Let's rewind. The year was 2011. Caterpillar, known globally for its bulldozers, excavators, and earth-moving powerhouses, entered a bold new arena, vocational semi-trucks. Their flagship? The Soundsum CT660 Mall. With a bold front grille, unmistakable cat DNA, and a promise to revolutionize work truck fleets across the U.S., Caterpillar wasn't just entering the ring. They were throwing haymakers. Let's be honest. This thing looked like a bulldozer in a suit. And people loved it. But beneath that rugged charm was something even more daring. A collaboration with Navistar. Caterpillar built the brand and vision, while Navistar provided the chassis and manufacturing. On paper, it looked like a dream team. In practice? Well, we'll get to that. At first, sales weren't bad. The CT660 carved a small niche. Construction companies, municipalities, and hardcore cat loyalists gave it a shot. And why not? It had the muscle. But here's where things took a turn. By 2016, the CT660 quietly vanished from Caterpillar's product lineup. No farewell tour, no press release, just gone. So what really happened? First, the collaboration with Navistar hit rough terrain. Issues with reliability, warranty support, and parts compatibility left some buyers frustrated. For a company whose brand is built on forever tough, that's a tough pill to swallow. Second, Caterpillar's core audience, contractors and operators, weren't sold on their favorite equipment maker building on-road trucks. Caterpillar's heart is in the dirt, not on the interstate. I mean, would you buy sushi from a steakhouse? Maybe once, but you wouldn't come back weekly. Third, market competition. Freightliner, Kenworth, Peterbilt, they had decades of dealer networks, customization options, and buyer trust. Cat was the bold newcomer, but bold doesn't always mean sustainable. So, was that the end of the CT660? Not quite. In 2025, sightings of Jun upgraded Caterpillar CT660 Sir began surfacing in concept showcases, private fleets, and, believe it or not, digital design forums. The new version? Sleeker, smarter, still unmistakably cat. And here's the real kicker. There's speculation Caterpillar may be testing a limited industrial return of the CT660, but only for select clients and government contracts. Why the secrecy? Why the comeback now? That's a whole story on its own. So make sure you're subscribed because we're digging into that next. The Caterpillar CT660 wasn't just a truck. It was a statement. And while its first chapter ended quietly, its legacy, and maybe its comeback, might just be roaring back to life. Like this breakdown? Smash that like button. Drop a comment if you've ever seen a CT660 in the wild, and don't forget to subscribe. Because the next chapter of this truck's story might surprise you. Some rumors suggest Caterpillar could make a comeback in the trucking world. But would a modern cat engine still live up? That's up for debate. What do you think? iCat engine, the greatest diesel engine of all time. Or is there another engine that deserves the crown? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into trucking's most legendary engines, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, keep the wheels turning.